Hi guys, Aka here. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the latest world general to hit Ebony, Mr. Isaac Brock. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, I know, but it's better late than never, right? So, we're going to take a look at what Mr. Brock can do, and then we're going to compare him to his biggest rival in the game, the great Leonidas who has been the best ground-based world general that we've had in the game so far. So, we're going to put them up against each other and see how that plays out. But, before we jump into that though, just want to put a quick word in for the sponsors of this video. Amazon is back. Yes, folks, the Amazon App Store is back and for a limited period, they are providing discounts to Ebony players. Players in these regions with Android devices will be able to take advantage of this offer using Amazon Coins, which is the digital currency required for the Amazon App Store. To get set up, there's a link in the description of this video, which will take you to the Amazon landing page for Ebony. If you scroll down, you will see the first QR code, which will let you download the Amazon App Store. The second QR code you need to download Ebony. Once you've downloaded the App Store and Ebony, then you load up on Amazon Coins. You'll get some discounts depending on the amount of coins that you get, and you can use those coins to purchase your packs in-game. You also get varying discounts depending on the in-game pack that you go for. And that's pretty much it. So, if this is something that you're interested in, then be sure to use the link down below to get yourself set up with the Amazon App Store and Amazon Coins and start saving again on Ebony. Now, back to the video. Okay, so we have Isaac over here. And remember that he's a wall general. So, instead of looking at just troop-specific stats, for wall generals, it's also important to look at the buff spread which is the buffs that they give for all troop types. Now, of course, Isaac is a ground-based wall general, so let's take a look at his ground stats first. For his main skill, ground stats, he gets 50% attack, 20% defense, and 30% HP. If we look at his specialties, for ground stats, he gets 50% attack, 30% defense, and 35% HP. If we look at his ascension, ground stats again, he gets 56% attack, 35% defense, and 30% HP. So, when you put all of his stats together, a fully maxed out Isaac for ground stats will give you 156% attack, 85% defense, and 95% HP. Okay, that's cool. In terms of his other buffs, okay, these are what he provides for the other troop types. All right, nothing too crazy, but it's worth noting that. Now, let's put him side by side with Leonidas and see how they compare against each other. So, for Leonidas, if you max him out with his main skill, his specialties, and his ascension, he gets 140% attack for ground, 40% defense, and 110% HP. Now, looking at them side by side, we can see that when fully maxed out, Leonidas is doing better on the ground HP. But Isaac has better attack and better defense than Leonidas for ground. Now, let's look at the spread for the other troop types. So, if we have ranged troops here, you can see that Leonidas is a bit better for ranged troops, having the much better ranged attack than Isaac does. Isaac also gets defense and HP, but we know that for ranged troops, attack is the main stat that you want. So, Leonidas is a bit better for ranged troops. If we look here for mounted troops, we can clearly see that, with the exception of defense, Isaac is better for in-city mounted troops. And then... If we move on to Siege, yeah, Leonidas doesn't have any stats for Siege. So, Isaac clearly wins this one. 
So what do we have here? We have Leonidas being better for ranged, while Isaac is being better for siege, mounted, and ground. So all in all, I think it's pretty safe to say that Isaac is a step up above Leonidas. However, looking at these stats, okay, especially since both of these are ground-focused generals, the ground stats will be the more important ones. And in my opinion, for the increase that you will get with Isaac, if you already have a maxed out Leonidas, I don't think it's worth changing. Okay? Yeah, Isaac is better. But unless you can afford it, there really wouldn't be much point changing your wall general from Leonidas to Isaac. Assuming you're using Leonidas as the main wall general. Okay? We'll talk about using them as assistants later. But... The other thing that we need to mention about Isaac is that, of course, he's a new general, so he comes equipped with the Covenant feature. Now, if we tap right here, this is the Covenant, and these are the generals that he needs for his Covenant. Pretty okay. I think Edward the Black Prince is available in the tavern. Marshall and Churchill are generals that were going around quite a bit so i would assume a lot of people have them so if you're going for isaac then his covenant shouldn't be too much of an issue now when we look at the stats in his covenant in my opinion i think isaac has good covenant stats i think these are arguably some of the best covenant stats that i've seen on a general recently if you look here at his second covenant this one says troop death to soul rate 10%, which I think is good. If we also look at the next covenant, you can see there that it says in-city troop defense 5%. Now, these two particular stats, if you see the icon next to them, this shows that these are stats that will be applicable whether you are using the general or not. So once you do the covenant, even if you're not using Isaac, these stats would be applicable. And in my opinion, I think that's very good. These two stats that he has, I think for some players, it will get to the point where if you can afford to do it and you have extra Covenant stones, you can do the Covenant on Isaac and just keep him. You don't need to do anything with him. You don't need to use him. If you have extra stones, do his Covenant keep him there, and you will get these two stats added to your keep. Which I think is a very good reason for why everyone should have at least one copy of Isaac for some time in the future. Now, of course, with that being said, the rest of his covenant stats will apply if you are using him, and he has pretty good stats. Especially that final covenant there, in-city ground troop attack, 30%. I think that's very good. So, if you don't have a maxed out Leonidas and you want a ground-based wall general, I think Isaac is a pretty good choice with the way he's looking at now. So, while there's still time, if you can pick up a copy of him, pick him up. If you want to use him as a main general, get some more copies, work on the guy, and you're good to go. Now, that's in the event that you're using him as a main wall general. Okay, it's possible that you might be using Leonidas as an assistant wall general and you're looking to see how well Isaac would stack up in that area. So if we compare their stats when they are assistants, this is how it shapes up. And because of the distribution of their stats, you can see that Isaac is better than Leonidas for ground troops when being used as an assistant. If we look at the spread, Leonidas is still better for ranged troops, while, again, Isaac is better for mounted and for siege. And then, of course, remember, you will have his covenants also coming into play as well. So, if you haven't worked on your Leonidas yet, and you get Isaac, I think you will be perfectly fine if you switch them out and use Isaac as your assistant wall general instead of Leonidas. I think you will get more buffs that way. But with that being said though, with that being said, 
Okay? This is just my personal opinion. All right? But I'm someone that likes to take character design into consideration. Okay? Because this is a general that I will be seeing every time I'm doing stuff in my keep. I need to like, you know, how the general looks. Right? And for me, I don't know. I just find Isaac looks a bit weird. All right? That's just my point of view. Okay? From a character design perspective, I would be much happier having Leonidas on my wall than having Isaac. That's just me. I'm quirky like that. Okay? But Isaac is a very good wall general. He is definitely now the best ground-based wall general that we have in the game. So, a big thumbs up for Isaac there. Now, if you're looking at these generals and you're still not quite sure which type of general you should go for, you can check out this video here, which goes through all the things that you need to know about selecting a wall general. That's it for me, guys. Thank you very much. Aka signing out.